preservation we were discussing about food preservation technique in that so many techniques were discussed started with container storage refrigeration freezing heating canning drying salting and uh, add may preparation of jams the last one we are going to discuss is using chemical preservatives the food can be preserved by using chemical preservatives certain chemicals are used for preservation of food and these are going to avoid or inhibit the growth of microorganisms such chemicals are sodium benzoate benzoic acid citric acid and vinegar these are not uh, harmful if it is used in a prescribed quantity excess of these chemicals is also harmful for the health hence sufficient amount of uh, preservatives are used for preservation of food use of this is under the government regulations here you can see the depiction or illustration here sodium benzoate below that preservative class 2 so the uh, different types of uh, preservatives of various type of chemicals are used for preservation of food now we are going to discuss about a topic called food fortification what is food fortification what is its uses let us discuss food fortification is process whereby nutrients are added to basic foods usually in small quantities to improve or maintain the quality of the diet or a of a group or community or a population this uh, fortification process involves addition of nutrients means beneficial substances for health are added to the food substance thereby improving the quality of the food so that the very good nutrients are obtained for the consumers and improve the health of the group or community or a population example fortification of milk and margarine with vitamin D and A the milk that comes in a packet that is added with vitamin D and A so you are you want just milk for that they are adding vitamin D and A that means you are ex getting extra vitamin D and A which is helpful for your health and uh, whenever you purchased iodized salt along with salt iodized iodine is added which is going to improve your health of brain and thyroid glands so this is a very good process food fortification which is going to improve the health of the person significance fortification of food is an important public health measure aimed at prevent or control nutritional disorder so this fortified foods contains beneficial nutrients which are going to avoid nutritional disorders here you can see a depiction of a salt below that salt you can see iron and iodine so double fortified salt so this is a fortified salt similarly you can you will get fortified milk fortified oil atta different types of flours is obtained so that is good for health next is food additives what are food additives and what are its uses let us see food additives are any substance that are naturally that are not naturally present in a basic food they are not naturally present in a basic food but added during its preparation and remaining in the end product so these food additives are substances which are added to food so during preparation or at the end of the preparation food additives are non-nutritious substances they are not nutritious they are not giving any nutrients which are added intentionally to food to improve their appearance flavor texture taste or storage properties by the addition of these food additives you can increase or improve the appearance flavor texture taste or storage properties so thereby the food will get enhanced in these properties and once the appearance is uh, looking good it attracts the consumers or flavors or texture or taste if it is uh, 
improving the in the food the person is going to attracted and going to eat that food there are two types of food additives first category food additives and second category food additives so these food additives which are added to food are they good or not let us discuss first category food additives food food additives of first category are intentionally added to food they are coloring agents example saffron and turmeric saffron is usually added for making kesari bath kesar saffron means also in hindi called as kesar and turmeric means yellow colored that is usually for making different types of food dishes which gives yellow color and flavoring agents flavor means as the name itself indicating the taste vanilla essence you will get vanilla ice cream strawberry ice creams mango ice cream so different flavor ice creams like that different flavors or essence comes even pineapple essence is also there so these are giving particular taste and sweeteners they are they will impart sweet such as saccharin so they are not sugar but they are artificially sweet providing chemical substances saccharin they are also added for the food to you improve the taste preservatives sodium benzoate and sorbic acid they are added to food of particular quantity so that to improve the food and these uh, first category food additives are not dangerous or harmful if they are used in a prescribed quantity and uh, they may become harmful if it exceeds the prescribed quantity let us see what is the second category food additives the second category food additives include substances that are unintentionally unintentionally or incidentally introduced into the food during package processing process or uh, during cultivation etc so these uh, second category food additives are termed as contaminants incidental so they are not uh, prescribed category of food additives they are not useful for the health but they are contaminants and harmful uh, these all considered food adulterants uh, most of the food are adulterated with second category food additives indiscriminate or unsurplus use of food additives may pose health hazards example nitrates nitrites because they are carcinogenic prevention of food adulteration act and fruit fruit product order these are the rules or act and orders that are going to govern and rules the regulation of food additives they are going to check and control the proper usage of food additives in the food industries and extraneous uh, substances such as color and flavor if it is added they should be mentioned on the food packets if it is color is added artificially colored or flavor artificially flavored any food that contains non permissible food additives in a more amount is also adulterated non permissible is illegal even if you add permissible in more amount it is also illegal so second category food additives are like uh, sand dirt and then um, stones these are all second category food additives they are not advisable for adding to the food so let us see the next to topic food adulteration food adulteration the simple logic if i want to tell uh, food adulteration adult if you just go the meaning behind the adult if you go infants or children infants children adult so what is the psychological uh, factor in these infants usually small kids they don't know what is lie telling lies so they are usually considered as a good because they don't know the bad bad things okay so similarly adult means the adults knows different types of uh, lies and uh, other uh, bad things so this adulteration is very much yeah uh, indicate the same that is going to be the bad action the food adulteration is a age old problem it reduces the cost of the food and by increasing the quantity of the food 
and uh, food adulteration is going to decrease the quality of food but the person who is going to sell this food adulterated uh, substances there he is going to make profit food adulteration is defined as the act of lowering the quality and nature of food either by addition or substitution of inferior substance inferior means less quality substance or or by removal of some valuable ingredients here you should see the underlined addition of adulterants or rem or removal of a good substance and in that other substance is added substitution so you may know in uh, football hockey substitute player is there one comes out and another comes in so i will explain detail and uh, removal that means only removal of valuable ingredients that is called as food adulteration example of food adulteration is addition of water to milk this is commonly seen in everywhere so usually mommy always complained why milk is very thin water is added or not so removal of fat from the milk so this is all method of example for food alteration so types of food alterants let us see types of food alterants adulterants are generally intentionally added intentionally added knowingly you are adding so intentionally added to reduce manufacturing cost increase the quantity to improve the appearance and or attractiveness of the food so these are the purpose the adulteration is done so if you are costly if a oil one liter is costly so you will get in less costly or oil they are cheaper oils because they are adulterated they are to reduce the manufacturing cost they are doing adulteration and increasing the quantity adulteration is done and all these things uh, they are going to make profit but it is going to impose health hazard for the consumers so be aware of the pure foods and adulterated foods before man before purchasing and using it adulterants may be accidentally or unknowingly introduced to food during growth during growth harvesting storage processing transportation or distribution in any of these steps adulteration will takes place and adulterants will get entered to food the non permissible food additives or if permissible food additives as i told if used in more quantity they are also considered as adulterant most of the items nowadays is adulterated if you take petrol it is also adulterated uh, you always complain the petrol is not uh, a good quality we complain medicines are also adulterated food is adulterated so most of the items people are adulterating to make profit and it is going to having a bad effect on the consumers adulteration of foods so adulteration of food is done through different methods are there so let us discuss one by one how the foods are going to be adulterated adulteration of food is done through mixing substitution abstraction concealing the quality putting the decayed food for sale wrong advertisement of a food affixing false labels on nutrients or misbranding addition of non permissible food additives so these are the various methods of food adulteration we are going to discuss one by one this is very important everyone should read this and note this let us see start with the first method of adulteration mixing so mixing is a process of adulteration involving addition of adulterants you should see what is process going on addition or removal of or addition and removal both you should please uh, see in this mixing only addition is taking place the adulterants are added to the food example water is added to milk so addition in the definition and in the example added is underlined so water is added to milk thereby milk is adulterated substitution is a process substitutes you may see in coco kabaddi football and uh, hockey substitute will be there one comes out and another enters so the same thing addition and removal is there substitution is a process of removal minus underlined removal and in bracket you can see minus of nutrient and beneficial of a, of a beneficial portion and addition of addition means plus of adulteration so you can see in below removal minus and addition plus 
for example if you take a 5 liter milk if a person you are giving money for bringing 5 liter milk how he is going to adulterate it so he is going to purchase a 5 liter milk after 5 liter purchasing milk he will remove 1 liter milk and keep it himself and for that 1 liter milk is added so this is how the food adulteration by substitution is done so addition and removal is involved abstraction abstract means remove so addition mixing means only adding subtraction means uh, removing and adding and uh, abstraction means only removing substitution removal and adding abstraction only removing it involves the removal of nutritive part of a food and so you can see in bracket removal minus in the process of boiling milk the skimmed milk is removed if you tell a person to bring a milk to drink the person is going to boil the milk and is going to remove the skimmed milk and he will eat it and he will going to give you only the remaining milk that means you are getting the milk without fat so the beneficial part of milk fat is removed in the form of skimmed milk and he used it so next is concealing the quality it involves concealing or hiding conceal means hiding if you uh, just uh, for example i am telling you if you come across a makeup kit there is a concealer concealer means hiding if you go through the dictionary and if you see the meaning concealing means hiding so if any mask on the skin is there so you can apply concealer in the makeup kit it is going to get hide and you cannot make out the scars in the skin <coughs> that is what uh, occurring in uh, concealing the quality they are not measuring the ingredients or batch number or manufacturing date and they are going to hide it such type of adulteration is called as concealing the quality <coughs> putting the decayed food for sale so adulteration involving the selling of decayed items with uh, good items few decayed uh, vegetable uh, food items are mixed with good quality food items and kept for sale this is also considered as adulteration a good uh, tomatoes and uh, decayed tomatoes are mixed and kept for sale next is wrong advertisement of a food the popular brand names were copied and given a wrong advertisement of the food for example if you take a very branded company for example parley biscuit the actual name is prle some people will use the little bit change in the name and use the same type of color and patterns and but little bit changes parallel is become p a r a l e the second one is wrong that is adulterated the first one is original company second one is a uh, adulterated com food by a unknown company which is going to put the sale of a biscuit in the same type of pattern next one is affixing false labels on the nutrients the food labeled with false labels misleading the cash customers nutrients contents and its quantity may be false labeled some people will tell uh, this food contains all the ingredients this ingredient that ingredient actually it is not present they are giving false labels simply they are telling it is uh, these nutrients are present and all these things they without adding those things they are simply telling lie and uh, hiding the true facts that is putting the false labels is also considered as adulteration addition of non perishable or more than perishable amount is also considered as food ad food adulteration non perishable food substances are added that is also called as adulterated if uh, permissible food additives are added in more quantity that is also considered as adulteration so this is about food adulteration and its various method we will continue in the next session thank you